everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys we are going to customize another super special and very unique doll really I've kept all my most unique dolls for this holiday season a couple of weeks ago we already repainted the original Britney Spears doll from the 90s in my last video I customized the two-headed mermaid monster high and this week guys we are going to customize this beautiful center doll I've already repainted this doll once in the past on this channel and it was an absolutely amazing experience really I'm still thinking about that doll sometimes because it was so cool so beautiful and that first time I turned her into a winter unicorn she was all white and sparkly and with real feather wings she was really amazing and this time I want to make her very realistic like a beautiful center girl living in the forest hunting having fun so I think she will look really gorgeous in the end so guys let's start the makeover I'm really excited about this one today before we start of course I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and also please like my videos if you like what I'm showing here on my channel because I have to remind about all these things in the beginning of my videos because it really helps my channel to grow and to develop and this being said, yeah, let's start the transformation. It's going to be a very exciting one today. I begin like always with removing all the original features of this doll, I mean like undressing, cutting off her hair, disconnecting the head from the body, and then I will remove her face with pure acetone. I want her to have gorgeous super long ginger hair so I've bought this very pretty pumpkin nylon hair for her and now I will reroute this doll's head using this hair but first of all I need to cover the head with a couple of layers of orange acrylics like this it will all look kind of smoother
So this is what I've got a couple of hours later. Now I will add tacky glue inside of the hat and then I will let it dry for a couple of days. After this I'm spraying the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing. First of all I have to change her skin tone from purple to something more kind of light nude. And that's why I begin with applying two layers of yellow pastels on top of this purple. It will cancel the purple color and then I will be able to work on it as usual. And I want her to have a very natural face with green eyes, reddish lips. She should be very beautiful but not too glam, rather natural looking. And now I will blush the top of her body to make it the same color like the face. And after this I will paint the horse part of her body with brown acrylics. But first of all I have to sand it all the entire body with nail buffers. Because like this paint will go much better on and it will also stay longer.
I think I want her to have freckles because they look super cute and they always make dolls more alive and more interesting in my opinion, so freckles today. And let's also add some golden freckles to the horse back. The next step is covering her hooves with gold. First I do two layers of gold and acrylics, then a layer of a leaf inside that will create a super sticky tape-like layer, and then I will be able to attach a golden leaf on top of it. So guys, this is how it all looks so far and I think it all looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm very happy with this result so far. And now you can see that this doll has these holes on her back for attaching wings. So of course I couldn't miss a chance to make a pair of giant golden wings for my doll. And I will show you how to make really pretty doll wings out of warble thermoplastic or out of carton. Carton would work here as well. So, look, I've printed out this pair of wings from internet, the shape and the size seem perfect for my doll. So, now I'm going to number all these feathers, or how to call these parts of these wings. So, and after all the details are numbered, I can copy each of them on another piece of paper, so I will get a set of details to make one wing, and then I will copy all these details four times each on a piece of warbler thermoplastic. I don't know, I think it looks like art already, <laughs> very pretty. So then I cut them out and after this I will connect all the details back together.
can see that I've got a pair of beautiful wings as a result. Really, they're so pretty, my favorite wings ever. So now let's make them gold. I don't know guys, I think these are simply the prettiest wings I've ever seen. <laughs> They're so perfect, so shiny, they look so good on this doll, really very happy about these wings. It took me of course a couple of days to finish them, but the end result looks amazing. So now our doll needs a top and I'm going to make a corset out of warbler for her. It will be brown with lots of golden details to fit the rest of the doll.
So this is where I've ended up with this top and I think it will look absolutely amazing with the rest of the doll. It will look really pretty. But before I put everything together, I want to make some sort of a harness for her out of chains. Something similar like this original thing she used to have in the beginning of this project. Or I don't know what is the right word for all these belts and chains around horse bodies. But this is what I'm going to make. check it out this is what I've made I think it looks really good it finally feels like I'm getting somewhere with this project so now I still need to attach a long ginger tail and after this I will be able to put the corset and the wings on the doll And I'm so happy about the way it looks now, really, it's so beautiful, guys. Now I still need to style her hair, and guess what I found after I removed all the protection from her hair? Right, guys, I found a pair of purple horse ears <laughs> underneath. So let's quickly blush the ears, and then I will curl her gorgeous long hair. I ended up giving her a long ponytail because you couldn't see the wings behind the giant hair but now she looks really stylish, very gorgeous and also not over the top, really very beautiful. So now we can finally attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures.
So guys, this is my Finnish center girl and I think she looks absolutely stunning. I told you, ginger girls are the cutest. She really looks like a golden queen of the forest with her wings and golden hooves. Really beautiful wild creature. I also had a lot of fun working on this doll because she's so special. It wasn't the same like working on a regular doll with a regular body. So I really think they should make more of these kind of dolls. I really hope we will see a new version of this Monster High doll in the future, in this new generation of Monster High dolls, because she's really one of my favorites and she's really a unique doll on the market. So, and now guys, I like always want to hear your opinion about this makeover. I'm always super curious to hear your thoughts and ideas. It always helps me to understand what you like most and what is the right direction for me to move. So, please let me know your thoughts about this project in the comment section down below. And if you want to buy this doll, please check out the link in the description box under this video because she's right now available for sale on eBay for three days like always. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally next week Friday, yeah, in my new doll repaint video. And it's gonna be one of the last doll makeovers of the year. So, see you soon, guys. Have a nice weekend. Love you. Bye.